Hey, I'm Sam and I do design, and in the video today, I'm doing real-time rendering on the iPad. Recently, I've been using Cadmio, which is a new iPad app that allows you to use real-time rendering on your 3D files to see how they would look in the real world. Now, this has made me really reminiscent of an old video that I made three years ago when I first bought this iPad. Now, back then, the big conversation was all about whether large companies would bring their PC and Mac programs onto the iPad for us to be able to use them within our design workflows. Let's take a look and see what I said about that at the time. The future of the iPad industry is not about the existing programs that we know and love for our computers, but it's different apps that are sneaking up and bringing all the functionality onto the iPad itself. So we're not living in a future where large companies have brought their native apps to the iPad, but what that does mean is that the smaller companies that create iPad native first apps are really starting to get traction. For years now, we've had sketching on the iPad along with Procreate that has pretty much replaced Photoshop. We have programs like Shaper 3D for modeling on the iPad. And now for the first time, we have real-time rendering on the iPad thanks to Cadmio. Now this is where it gets really interesting because in my original video, I spoke about workflow and whether you need to start swapping programs and swapping apps and devices in order to get your work done. With Shaper 3D and Cadmio now both on the same tablet, it's become easier than ever to get work done. Now, if you're a long time viewer of this channel, you will know that I love to take my designs that I'm working on and visualize them in Keyshot. Now, the reason is because when you're modeling in a 3D program, you can see how light kind of interacts as an environment that you're spinning around and surfaces will have highlights or shadows as you're modeling them. But to simulate what that will look like in the real world with real lighting and real shadows in different lighting environments, that can really change how you design your product. Now, Keyshot prides itself as being a physics-based real-time renderer. And what that means is it's using real light photons to calculate where light is in the scene and then physically calculate which parts are highlights and which parts are shadows. But what that means is that every time you change a material, every time you move the camera, it needs to reset the calculations. And whenever you spin around a model in Keyshot, things get pixely and you have to wait for it to res up and become high quality enough to see again. Part of what I love about Cadmio is how simple it is to set everything up. All of the environments are really photorealistic. All of the materials are full of detail and they all have really intuitive ways to change how they look. A big example of that is how you import wood into a scene. Now, traditionally, wood is really tricky to get in programs like Keyshot because of the way that the grain works and because you have to line everything up. It's hard to achieve, but in Cadmio, all you do is drag and drop. You can change the orientation of the grain and as easy as that, you're already orbiting around the product as if it's made of wood. So I would break this down into three different components for whether Cadmio is going to become a part of my workflow. The first one is just a personal preference of which program I'm going to use to visualize my designs as I'm working on them. That's going to be cases such as changing the way that a surface works, changing how large or small a component is, and then putting it into these programs to simulate what that would look like in the real world. The benefit of Cadmio is that you can literally rotate around the model and there is no waiting for the image to res up. It is real time in the true sense of the word. And because of that, it becomes more like a gaming experience where you can zoom in, zoom out, and move the camera around just like you would in a game engine, for example. The second criteria is how it's going to fit in with clients. Now, what I mean by that is usually if I've done a bunch of tests and I've rendered everything for my own personal satisfaction that I know the design now works, what we then do in the industry is create a large presentation filled with key shot images that we then send to the clients. Now, we can get really cinematic with that. We can decide what parts are in focus or not in focus, but those PDFs, those presentations are based on still imagery that we have set up in Keyshot 
allowed those renders to run overnight or over the weekend, then we prep the PDF, and then we send them to the client. If the client comes back to us and says, this is great, and I love this view here, but I'm not quite sure how these surfaces are interacting, or I'm not quite sure how this might look uh, underneath this part, can you send me a few more renders? Then that takes time, and that takes more time out of the day compared to actually designing the product. That's because you have to then go back into Keyshot, set up a new camera, set up new materials, and then render all of those extra images for the client to see. With Cadmio being a true real-time rendering app, I can send them the file, ask them to download the Cadmio viewer on their phone, and then they have full freedom to move around the scene just as they would if it was sat in front of them on their desk. Part of the struggle with clients sometimes is trying to convince them what something will look like when it comes to market. Your client might not be as design-minded as we are, and sometimes they need to really see the visual proof that something will work, and they can't envisage it without seeing that. So a lot of our work as designers is bringing the client along on a story through the journey of the design process to allow them to see the market and see where the product will end up. In that sense of the word, we become visual storytellers and enable the client to see what this product can become. Now, as part of being visual storytellers, you can argue that amazing glossy PDFs play a big part in that. But to be able to get in there and orbit around the product as if you're viewing it in real time, that can be invaluable to convincing a client this will be the way forward for the design. And what I would have argued if I was to see this video for the first time having not played with the app, I would say that with Keyshot and setting up the cameras myself before showing the client anything, I can purposefully set up the cameras, set up all the angles to portray the product in its best light and really highlight the areas that I want the client to look at and they downplay the areas that I don't want the client to look at. We're good at doing that because we are visual people and we can tell what's going to look good and what's not going to look good when it comes to the product. But with Cadmio, you can set three cameras to help guide your client's eyes and allow them to look at particular parts that you want to draw attention to as well. In addition to that, I really think it's important to see how your product will look in different lighting environments, whether that's a natural light coming through a window or a studio light or how it's going to look in a store or in a museum or on the shelf in someone's home, that lighting condition change is really going to influence the design of the product. Now, I don't think Cadmio is going to completely replace programs like Keyshot. There's going to be a time and a place for both apps. Whether you want to present a full presentation and talk the client through really cinematic and beautiful imagery that you've meticulously crafted to show the product in its best light, or you want to have a more natural, fluid conversation with the client about where the elements of the design could go. Those are two completely different parts of the design process, and I think both programs are really going to be invaluable in those areas. So the third criteria that I want to talk about is whether Cadmio can completely eradicate laptops and PCs. Now, in my video from three years ago, I spoke about the fact that you have to fit within the industry norm with the programs that you use. For example, our model makers use the same programs. Our clients will use PDFs and, and we need to be in that world as well. So my answer to that is still the fact that the iPad can now start to replace some of those programs, but only if you're working within a small team and you can determine which programs you are using. If you work in a large corporation and try to get everybody to switch over to Shaper 3D and Cadmio, chances are they're probably not going to. But if you're part of a small startup or if you're part of a, an individual practice, a freelancer, for example, I think that by this point, you can use the iPad from start to finish of a design process. You can use Procreate for sketching. You can use Shaper 3D for modeling. And then you can use Cadmio to simulate what that's going to look like in the real world. We're starting to see the process of all of our design workflow integrated into the iPad. And let's not forget, this is the same exact iPad that I had three years ago. I have not upgraded to the M1 iPad or whichever iPad is coming out this year. I'm still using the three years old model. And the fact that I can model in 3D and then render in this fidelity, actually that blows my mind. 
So to summarize, can it make it easier for me to look at my designs personally before I show anyone else? Yes. Does it make it easier and more intuitive to share with clients and bring them along the design journey in a more engaging storytelling way? Yes. Have we got to the point now where we can use an iPad for a full design workflow from start to finish? Yes, I think we have. And again, I don't think it's going to replace Keyshot, but Cadmio is an amazing tool in our toolbox to allow us to show clients what we're thinking and bring them along on that journey. Thank you all for watching at home and thank you to Cadmio for giving me access to the app. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about Cadmio and check them out over on their website. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.